As of last September this year, CNN Philippines reported that young Filipinos made up 52% of registered voters for next year's elections. Many of these people are first-time voters who have endured long lines with hopes of being one of many that could possibly change the future of their nation for the better. Every generation is known to have varying perspectives based on beliefs, political inclinations, or even values. With this, we ask the question, what do you, the Filipino youth, look for in a president? What I'm looking for in my president is to feel hopeful again. That sounds very vague, but what I mean when I say that is that I want someone who's going to be truthful and transparent and accountable to their actions. And that seems like asking for the bare minimum, but it's really not. Because as a young person, it's so easy to get disillusioned and feel like your voice doesn't matter or that your vote doesn't count. Because after all of this is done, everything will go back to what it was. So I want someone who will run on a progressive platform that really takes into consideration the needs of the marginalized in this society. Someone who will galvanize young people in a movement that they can believe in. Someone who takes into consideration that we need to feel like this works again. That the system is not broken and that we have a shot at a better future, that's what I look for in my president. I would really go for someone who is pro-education, someone who isn't afraid of having an educated and a literate and opinionated society, someone who gives opportunities whether you are in Metro Manila or you are in some far-flung island of the country, someone who can decentralize and actually lessen that great divide between the rich and the poor, the powerful and the weak, someone who isn't just there to give me words of flattery or some flowery words in English. I have TV and Netflix for that. I need a president who functions like a CEO of a company that doesn't want to compete with fellow Filipinos but actually wants to empower Filipinos to compete globally so we could make a Philippines that is great for the Filipino people and also a Philippines that could be admired by the rest of the world. Ang inaanap ko para sa isang presidente ng bansa ay yung kayang tugunan ang bawat hinain ng iba't ibang sektor ng lipunan kaya ng genuine agrarian reform para sa mga magsasaka sapat nakita at makataong working conditions para sa mga magagawa pagdiin sa laban kontra bio violence against women and children para sa mga kababaihan, anti-discrimination at karapatan para sa malaya at mapagpalayang pagmamahalan para sa LGBTQIA+, at karapatan para sa pagkain, pabahay at edukasyon para sa mga urban poor. Dapat lang na magkaroon tayo ng isang leader na tapat, maaruga at matapang na hindi hindi mandadarambong, aalagaan tayo holistically at kaya tayong ipaglaban laban sa mga dayuhang kinakamka mga ating soberanya. Platforms that I'm looking forward in a president is to help and focus more on poor Filipinos and lessen the pandemic problem that we're experiencing right now. I actually didn't plan to vote for a specific person. It's just I basically read a lot of news articles and achievements of all the candidates who filed their presidential candidacy. I believe that the president should be transparent, equal, and a person who listens to the viewpoints and opinions of the countrymen. It's their job to listen as much as it is to speak and makes the final decision that is on the side of the fair justice because the justice system of our country is unequal equal and not fair. The world offers us so many definitions of what it means to be a good leader, but for me, a good leader inspires, empowers, and listens. A competent leader solves problems rather than makes them. We need leaders who are empowering, inspiring, who bring out the best in people and help them become great leaders as well. Pandemic is today's greatest foe, so the next president should focus on stopping and destroying this pandemic. Pandemic has done so much into the society, it affects so many aspects, so it needs to be stopped. The next president, I think, should uphold values such as being trustworthy, being honest. You need to be transparent to the public. A president, I think, should be a person of his or her word. He or she should be brave and strong while simultaneously respecting and considering others, their rights and their opinions. After all, a president is not the key to success, but rather only one of the ingredients of success. As a Filipino citizen who upholds respect, integrity, fair judgment, courage, and equality. I am looking for a president who will serve for our country wholeheartedly and without a personal and selfish intentions while they are still in the office. Someone who is willing to be the helping hand to cooperate with millions of Filipinos for the betterment of the country and encourages unity and not division. Lastly, a president must be a problem solver in handling problems faced right now in the country like the ongoing pandemic and the other needs that until now it still need to be addressed such as employment, education, problems 
violence caused by the poverty and corruption. Ito ang mga katangyang aking hinahanap sa magiging susunod ng Presidente ng Pilipinas. Una, ang kanyang mga platform at proyekto ay naayon sa 2030 SDGs o ang Sustainable Development Goals. Pangalawa, kaya may taguin na maayos ang foreign policies ng Pilipinas na hindi nasasakripisyo ang pinakamalagang yaman na ating bansa na kung saan ito ay ang soberanya. Pangatlo, agaran at naayon na kanyang pagresponde sa lahat ng sakuna, nasyonal man ito, ang pandaigdigan. Pang-apat at panguli, kanyang may kasalamuan na maayos sa kanyang mga katrabaho. Oposisyon man ito, kanyang mga kampi. My president is someone who sets priorities to current issues such as the health crisis here in the country. So realignment of budget is very much needed and I fully support that. Also, my president acknowledges accountability. He or she doesn't blame others or as we say, hindi naguhugas ng kamay. But most of all, my president is a good role model to the society so they can see the best in us and not to worse of us. I'm really looking for a candidate who has an ability to improve the lives of many Filipino people, giving the right opportunities for us to grow here in our country, yung hindi na dapat pupunta na ibang bansa para makipagsapalaran, and also by addressing the country's problems, as well as the improvement of our healthcare and our agricultural sector as well. One of the platforms that I support ko na sa magiging susunod na panguna ating bansa, syempre, ang takusin ang kamutuman, lalala sa mga mahihirap na lugar dito sa ating bansa dahil marami sa ating mga kababayan ang hindi pa kumakain ng tutong beses sa araw. Maraming mga bata nagkakasakit. Maraming pamilya din ang walang trabaho. So, sa sususunod na magiging panguna natin bansa ay matulungan ang mga taong nasa may hirap na lugar. Tsaka sa values naman, syempre, una dyan yung passionate tsaka integrity dahil naiiniwala ko sa dalawang aspetong ito na meron kang passion sa pagsilbi sa bayan at iniisip mo na kapwa mo bago ang sarili mo. Hindi lang basta apat, kundi accountable, transparent, at may puso sa pag si Silby sa bayan at syempre marunong makinig sa boses at sa mga problema ng ating mga kababayan natin. One of the platforms I'm looking for is addressing the poverty by creating more jobs. I believe the government should focus in fixing the problems like mahal na kuryente, mabagal na internet, pangit na public transportation, mataas na tax. Fixing this problem will help the companies to grow and attracts foreign companies to invest in the Philippines that will create jobs for the Filipinos. For values, marami, but I'll just mention too. Integrity and compassion with the people. For characteristic, strong political will so that despite these platforms affects their party list or those people who helped them during their campaign, They will continue this platform for the Filipinos. The most important characteristic for a presidential candidate that I'm looking for is being honest in words and actions. A president must be honest at all times, especially when we are dealing with this crisis just like this pandemic. I will support a particular aspiring leader who has concrete plans for pandemic response and willing to give financial support for all medical frontliners, including additional hazard pay, providing equal health care opportunities, allocating more budget, in health sector and everything. Also, a leader must uphold values of respect, responsibility, commitment, humility, and servant leadership for the common good. A leader must embody the character of fairness, peacekeeping, and strong will personality. Ang hinahanap ko sa iboboto kong Pangulo ay syempre yung matapat, maaasahan, may integridad, marunong umunawa, at syempre ay yung marunong makinig sa iba o sa kanya magiging masasakupan o sa ating Pilipino. Pagdating naman sa mga platforma, alam natin na tayo ay nasa gitna ng pandemya na is kong masubpo muna ito unang-una. Pagkatapos ito, ang pagsubpo naman sa korupsyon, pagkatapos ay ang pagkilala sa arbitral ruling pagdating sa West Philippine Sea, at uh, pagbibigay naman ng financial na suporta pagdating sa ating sektor ng agrikultura. Yun lamang. For me, it is someone who prioritizes social equity, especially when it comes to healthcare and judicial proceedings, and as well as the four E's. It's education, environment, energy, and economy. And also, a good leader should be transparent, someone who would never make a fake facade just to show it to public. And I think most importantly is someone who truly knows about the law. Serving people is one thing, but doing it while knowing the legal proceedings is another thing. I have done quite a few things to help save the earth. That's why I would like to see our next president include
include environmental affairs in one of his priorities. Alam naman natin na in the Philippines were very prone to a lot of natural disasters. Pagguho ng lupa, bagyo, earthquake. Hopefully, yung next president natin has innovative solutions about this to help mitigate the impact of global warming or climate change in the Philippines. What am I looking for in a president is that, number one, they're consistent. Number two, they do not take criticisms as a bad thing, but instead take them as suggestions to further help the country grow. And number three, I'm looking for someone with experience and educational background on governing. Now, what platforms do I support? I simply support the kinds of programs that help the poor people in the long run and the programs that emphasize on the sector of agriculture. And finally, what I'm looking for in values is someone with discipline and respect towards the people. In status quo of our country today, I believe that what we really need is a leader that is both responsive and responsible. Responsive to the needs of the Filipinos and responsive responsible in uplifting good governance. Let us support a leader who truly cares. Let us vote for a leader who has a vision to our country, not just front act programs. First of all, I want the next president to be able to handle this pandemic correctly and swiftly, just like how the leaders in New Zealand and Taiwan handled theirs since last 2020. I want them to put the Filipinos' health first and listen to what the health workers like doctors have to say in order to handle this pandemic. Second of all, I want them to have no corrupt history or criminal records. And lastly, I want them to be able to be accountable if ever they their administration makes mistakes. Ang hanap kong presidente ay tapat na public servant at hindi lang habol ang posisyon sa gobyerno. Yung may good moral characteristic, paninindigan, at hindi takot sa criticism ng publiko. Hanap ko rin sa kanila yung may mga plataforma tungkol sa healthcare system natin, human rights, Saudi bill, divorce bill, access to proper education, at ang pinaka-importante ang transparency of government expenses sa Pilipinas. Kaya bago tayo bumo Moto, uh, mag-research muna tayo sa mga candidates natin para malaman natin kung sinong karapat dapat mamuno ng Pilipinas. After hearing what our elites look for in a president, we listed down and tallied the platforms, values, and characteristics to see what they uphold and support the most. Here are the top five of each. For platforms, about half of the respondents have mentioned that they would like to have a president that places an importance on the improvement of the government's response towards the COVID-19 pandemic as well as the country's healthcare system. This is followed by the platforms that provide food, shelter, education, and other necessities for those in poverty. Third is a focus on the country's education system, triple tied together with hopes of more job opportunities for their fellow countrymen, and an agrarian reform push wishing that the next president would put more support and effort on the country's agriculture sector. On screen are the other platforms that the elites look for when it comes to supporting a presidential aspirant. For values and characteristics, a little over half of our elites featured want a president who is a good listener to the people and one that will cooperate with the people that they will be working with. This is closely followed by wanting a president that is honest and truthful, not just in words but in deeds as seen in the third most voted characteristic, which is being transparent to the people. This is tied in with being responsible or having accountability for their own actions. The fifth characteristic that they're looking for in a president is one that is a solver of the country's problems. One that can envision a better future by creating innovative solutions for the existing struggles of the society. This is also tied together with wishing that the future president would be one that is a true servant of the public, showing passion and strong political will for the Philippines and its people. On screen are the other values and characteristics that the elites look for in a president. Now that you've heard their opinions, it's your turn. What do you look for in a president? Let your voice be heard as you and your vote pave the way for a better and brighter tomorrow for the Philippines.